Hey, this is Brent with Lightus Motorsports. This is, uh, I normally don't show, there's there's a lot of stuff I don't show on on videos, and this is probably one of those things, and this may help you if you're putting a timing cover seal in at home. This is a Shelby Ford FE timing cover that we're gonna be using on a 482 tunnel port. Uh, more to come on, on, on that build uh, in the next week or so. But I'm going to be driving in the timing cover seal. Um, it's just a standard timing cover seal that comes with all the uh, the timing cover gasket sets, or most of them anyway. But uh, I was going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to set it like this so that the timing cover is flat against my workbench. Alright, so we've got some Dow Corning 732 silicone. I'm just going to put just a little bit around that outside of this. You don't need much, you don't want big gobs, you just want just a nice thin cover. I'm gonna set that in there. We're gonna use our, our seal driver. And I'm just gonna drive this down I'm going to hit it evenly until it sits down. Then when I go and do, um, I just come back with a straight screwdriver and just make sure that it's sitting down all the way. Right, then I just come back and clean everything up. And then we're going to be using, this is uh, one of my adjustable timing pointers that I make for the Ford FE. We'll go ahead and add this. We'll set it when, um, obviously when we check our balancer out. All right, that's all there is to it.